this is kind of weird, I guess, but I uh, want to do some more ASMR stuff, and I've been doing the game update thing, monthly anyways, and I got some games uh, since the last time I did this, so I figured I'd do it again. Um, I know it's probably going to sound maybe a little weird, I'm actually doing this in the bathroom. Um, I don't know, it's light out, there is light and everything, it's not like this is the best place to do it, but I figured it might have an interesting sound in the bathroom, maybe, maybe not. Even this pretty little, like, flashlight -y thing, you have to, like, hit it to do these. So I have to hold this, so it's probably gonna hurt my hand a little bit. So it might not be too long, we'll see how I, how I feel, um, whatnot, but, um, uh, I guess the reason I'm doing it in here is because, like, well, partly because, like I said, like, I want to have this interesting, uh, interesting sound. Um, see if it sounds good, and if it doesn't, I will not do it in here again. Um, we'll see what you guys like or don't like. And, uh, if, uh, you know, like, I don't know, like, I'll also across my fridge, what happened was the power goes out sometimes, you know, like, they turn off the power to do something, or if it just goes out for a while, for whatever reason. Um, then my, my fridge, my mini fridge gets really, um, I don't know, I'm learning about the way it defrosts and then it doesn't want to frost up again and it starts making really loud noises every now and then. And I didn't want to have really loud noises just popping up in the background of the video like that, if I can help it. So that's why I probably can't do as much as more stuff in there right now. Until that settles down, it usually takes a few months or something before it comes back to normal, which is frustrating because I was only, you know, off for a few hours. And there, that'll help. So weird, it's just like, it looks like there's two bulbs in here too, like either one went out or it never lit up in the first place. Oh, now it, now it lit. This is a strange light. Uh, weird. So, um, I wonder if I can manipulate this to do it. Hold on. I'm gonna experiment with something. As long as we're right here anyways. There we go. That's interesting. Kind of weird. I don't know how I'm gonna focus with that, but what I've done uh, is I have this actually sitting on top of this little flickery too, that's weird. I have this sitting like the uh, uh, camera up here is on top of a, a Kleenex box on top of the seat of the toilet. I'm just sitting on the floor and the little flashlight thing I've just wedged between the seat and lid thing of the toilet and the toilet itself so there's enough weight there. Um, for it to hold it on, which is kind of nice. I could have just brought a better light in here, but it's one that gets me out of this one, and I didn't think it was going to hurt my hand as much as it did. Alright, so, um, this list here. I guess, um, I haven't gotten tons of games since the last time I did a big game update thing around for, you know, around in December, and then I had a big update of games I got during January, which was a lot, considering I, I used the eShop cards, I got gifts and all that. Um, but this is now my, uh, my list of extra ones I got. And it's largely going to probably be things from Steam as well at this point. Um, and I may, oops, sorry, and I may skip uh, a few months or something if I don't have anything. Um, or I don't have enough to really talk about, I probably won't, you know, because I only get like one game or something, it's not really worth making a whole ASMR thing trying to talk about, hey, I got one game, um, 
necessarily. So I don't know, unless you guys really want that. But I don't know that anyone cares enough to want to be that up to date on me having, you know, one game I they didn't know I had or something. So these have basically been an excuse to do ASMR videos like the ASMR Let's Tries, which I've kind of put on hold. I might try to do those and not try to be as like whispery and quiet about it. I might try to do more of those. Um, because like my, my headset has a buzzing when it's plugged in, um, when the power's plugged in. And I don't mind it that much. It's not super noticeable, I guess, but like, I don't know, you can hear it like if I'm trying to whisper and stuff for those or be really quiet. So if I just not, you know, if, if I try to keep from being really loud in those, it should be fine. Um, I don't know, I could also just record some more again, which use my camera for it instead, and not use the capture stuff. But, um, it doesn't look as good then. So that's the trade-off with that. I don't know. I haven't gotten much feedback on those, so we'll see. Um, I also have to do an ASMR Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie that's kind of related. Or Banjo-Tooie. I mean, somebody wanted me to do that, and I thought, if someone wants me to, I should do that. And I also need to do one, um, with Balloons Tower Defense. One of those. So... I mean, I'll get to those. I'll, I'll, I will get to those. I just, I, I remember these things out of my head. I just haven't had the time or motivation lately to go directly to those. Um, I figured this was simple enough. And hey, it's the end of the month, so I was like, I'll, I'll do this, I suppose. But uh, hey, you guys came here for, to hear the games, right? You didn't hear, wanted to hear me yammer. Maybe you did say it's smart. Maybe you didn't care what the subject really was. But I just don't believe nobody likes me that much. I just have it all around this piece of paper, so. XCOM UFO Defense. Um, this is one I got off of it's either Humble Bundle or Indie Gala. I can't remember which. I think it was one of those two. It was offered uh, for free for a short while. You just had to make an account and redeem it. Um, so I grabbed that. I think I'm gonna tell my brother about that or something. I think he got it. But it's a it's a turn-based like strategy game um, where you're you're fighting aliens, um, and uh, you have to position all your guys and try to fight them, and you know, dealing with cover and you know, what actions you're able to do and positioning, all that stuff. Um, and it came out, I, th I think, it came out in the '90s, and because uh, I believe this was the first XCOM game that there was, and the reason I knew about it was I mean, I saw someone post about it on Facebook. Um, I was like, oh, cool. And the reason I know about XCOM in general is because I watched previously recorded uh, on YouTube, uh, which they have live streams that they put up onto YouTube. I've seen them play a lot of XCOM, uh, I think it's like Enemy Unknown, or Enemy Within, one of those two. I think it's the same game, it's just like one that has extra DLC or something. And then I've also seen them play XCOM 2, uh, so I'd seen a lot of stuff from those, and like, they looked neat and all. I could never run those, because those are like reboot, like newer ones, but I heard this was like a, an original one, um, I believe this was the first, if I'm remembering right, I haven't really looked into it that much, but I thought, well it's free so I can give it a shot, and uh, maybe it'll be fun, maybe, I don't know, so I was like, I got it, because it was free, wow, my autofocus is terrible on this thing right now, if I knew how to mess with that setting, I might, also, I want to bring something up quick for you guys, um, while I'm hearing it and thinking about it. my camera itself, um, like, it, like, it might sound like there's background noise or something too, but, like, my camera itself makes a slight hum when it, when it plays, you know, when it's on, so, I can't really, you know, actually hear that, which is probably, maybe it might, but it's internal with the camera itself, you know, I can't really do anything about that, maybe there's some kind of program or something I don't know how to use that would fix it, but I don't know how to use it, so... I don't know, as far as I know, like that, we're kind of stuck with this. And I guess if you're still here, I guess you don't mind, but if you're new or something, I don't know. I'm wondering. Now, the game is Over Hell. Over Hell, I'm sorry, these are on Steam. I believe all these are just Steam games, I just don't... 
I don't know what they would be doing showing you the name on there anyway, so it's not like it would help that much. It might help for this one because I don't know what Overhell is. I forgot. I won it on Steam Gifts. Um, and it was one of those mass giveaways where it's like, basically if you give away 50 or more copies, it's like a featured giveaway that shows up on the top. And I usually enter all of those that are on the top is because they're extra copies, so I have a better chance. Even though you usually get more entries because they're featured and on the top. <laughs> I always figure like, well, I'll try it. And oftentimes there are games with tons and tons of keys. And I got this one, and I don't remember if this is like a pixel kind of game, or if this was like a first person shooter. I honestly can't remember, and I feel bad that I can't. Um, because I... I feel like I should at least know, because I got it. But I'll get to it eventually, I suppose. Um, another one is Postmaster. Another one from the one in the same fashion off of Steam Gifts. Um, I think from what I the bits I did really look at before, I think it's like a like a, a simulation thing where you're trying to like manage like a like a postal service or something like that. I could be way off base with that, but I thought that's what it was. So there's that. Um, uh, there are a bunch of these, uh, a pack of four Star Wars games. Um, and this one came out of, I believe this was Humble Bundle, and it was, I don't have an account on Humble Bundle, I guess. Or, you know, anyway, doing that. So, like, basically on Humble Bundle. It was, um, like, I don't know you don't you guys know how Humble Bundle works, and I don't necessarily know super well either because I haven't really used it, but it, like, they have different, like, bundles of games up there, and you pay so much money to get the bundle of games, um, and I think, like, uh, the one at least that I saw was, like, a, it was, was for charity, the Star Wars ones. I don't know if all of them are or not, but, um, they're up there, and it's, like, they're pretty cheap for what you're getting, and you can pay what you want, anything over a certain amount of money, um, and if you pay, you know, like, you know, over, like, a, a minimum amount of money, you will get all the games, um, in this one tier. And if you pay over this next, you know, amount of money, um, you'll get some extra games. And they actually have a few tiers of that to get extra stuff. And, uh, the Star Wars bundle that was up, I think this was, like, the third one of them that they were putting up. And, um... In it, the one that I was looking at um, was Knights of the Old Republic, which I mean, a lot of people had already talked up and already said it was great. But um, in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, they recently added some new characters, one of which was like the main villain from Knights of the Old Republic 2, which got me talking about this with my friend, and then, you know, I, I like. And like, oh yeah, that's on, on Steam for like 10 bucks. And I looked in this bundle and it's like, what's in this bundle for like a dollar? And he's like, yeah, you should really get that. I was like, okay. Um, and then I worked out a thing. Like, I didn't have an account there, so I asked this other buddy of mine who does have an account there. So I bought him a, like a $1 thing on Steam with my Steam ball and stuff. And then he got me the bundle of, there's, like I said, there's four games. So essentially I paid about a quarter for this game. Um, and, uh, at the, at the risk of, you know, like, I, I don't know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to go on too much about it because I'm still playing through it for my first time ever, um, and I'm going to review it, so there's not much point in going into a bunch of little details here and there, I don't want this to just be an entire thing of me talking about Knights of the Old Republic, um, but, uh, I have been playing that, so you can look forward to that being reviewed soon, um, and that's one of the, the four, the other ones I don't know that much about, um, there is, uh, Star Wars, uh, X-Wing Alliance, uh, which I believe is a sequel to TIE Fighter, um, which was, like, a, kind of, like, a Star Wars, like, space, like, space flight sim thing, um, and, like, I've heard that's, like, really interesting, but really difficult, um, and I think this is a similar idea. I don't know that it is, though. It could be. I could be way wrong. I'm just making assumptions. I think this is also a DOS game, though, if that is the case. And then there's Star Wars 
X-Wing versus TIE Fighter Balance of Power Campaigns. I assume that's the crossover between the two. I would assume it's maybe still on DOS, maybe it might not be, but I'm assuming it's a crossover of both of those games, and there's going to be a lot of fights and stuff in it, more combat heavy. Um, again, totally assuming things I haven't looked it up and looked into it, but that's what I'm guessing based on the very limited amount I know about these things. And the last one is Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds Saga. And I have no idea what that is. I don't know if that's like a strategy game or a flight sim or a first person shooter or what. No clue. I just know that Star Wars was in that pack and I'll probably check it out eventually. But um, I don't know if you guys know more about those games. You know, any of those games that I don't know anything about right now. I want to recommend which ones I should play over the others. You know, definitely tell me that stuff in the comments. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to jump right to another game on Steam right away, but maybe um, I just wanted to do Knights of the Old Republic because I've been told to play it and I started doing it and I'm kind of sunk into it now a little bit. And so I'd like to kind of wrap that up. I feel like it's going to be easy enough to wrap up. Um, I've still got a bunch of games to, to finish up. And I guess I should clear up a few things for this too, is that um, Breath of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is coming out. Uh, very soon. I am probably going to get it uh, for Wii U. I am not getting a Switch, so I'm not going to be talking about the Switch. Um, really, or, you know, I'm not going to be like, hey guys, here's the Switch, here's my video about that. I'm just, um, you know, I just probably will be getting Breath of the Wild. I don't know if I'm getting much else because I'm getting that. And, you know, if I get that, it's going to be probably like 60 bucks new or whatever, so I'm not going to want to get much else for a while, especially with the big backlog that I have still. Um, I've got a lot of games I want to finish up, so hopefully you guys understand. Um, and that's why I'm, you know, this is largely going to be like, hey, these are the games I want on Steam gifts or somebody gifted to me. Maybe. Maybe. Um, and that's everything, but uh, yeah, if there's enough to talk about, I'll talk about some at the end of next month, and if there's nothing else to really talk about, you know, I don't end up with much. I don't know, maybe it'll be a little longer, but if, do you guys like these? If you like these, you can tell me in the comments as well, and, you know, any, any other game stuff, or ASMR stuff, or whatever, suggestions, or recommendations, things you want me to scope out, or things you want me to do, whatever. That's always nice, but, uh, I figured I should do this as I, if my activity has gotten a little low again, I don't know. I know I'm not doing daily videos, that's not a thing I'm shooting for, but, I like to do multiple videos, you know. At least having a video come out of what averages to at least a video a week, if not more, would be nice. I mean, it's not like it's super hard for me to make content, I don't feel like, so. Between playing games, uh, working on a new album, you know, I've been, been, I've been pushing myself and the air is turning on, so that's gonna be a nice noise to end on. Um, Yeah, I think that's everything anyway, so hopefully, uh, the, you know, the sound was okay, and it was, it was relaxing and somewhat interesting, and wasn't just awkward and terrible sounding and all that stuff. And here's that, it's the air, so, you know, it's always good to have it get louder at the end of your video. Um, for people who have it turned up and, you know, then, you know, then it gets really loud and then it's easy for them to... Stay asleep when it gets, gets awkwardly louder, all of a sudden 